Yo, yo, my fucking friends, Lara Monkey Boy here. Welcome to back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. In the last part, we continued with World 4 Crazy Kremland, and today we're gonna be most likely finishing it off with only a few more levels until the boss. Then I just have to go back and get everything I did. So, before I get in, I just wanna say, uh, you may hear some back, a lot of background noise. That's because I have the fan on. Like, it's really hot here now. It's like 90 something degrees, and my air conditioning is broken is really unfortunate so I just have the fan on so that you know I don't die of like a heat stroke like I'm somebody who like gets who's like really affected by heat for one thing like I get hot super easily and so like honestly every anything above like 70 degrees is really warm for me and the fact that it's 90 something is really not good so I've just got the fan on so that I don't like sweat a lot and it'll be a little at least a little bit comfortable anyways let's start off the next level is Ramby rumble so this is another B level I don't think there actually was only one other one in this game the very first one so now I've got a mr. double sword to um, apparently you have to like lure out instead of just go right at him which I probably should have done and that's fine we got we got more bees obviously can't have a honey level without bees I mean they just kind of go hand in hand don't they um, anything down here? Cool! I mean, why would they put a B there if there wasn't going to be anything down there? Also, I just realized I probably should go grind for lives because 15's really not a lot, especially at the rate that I use them up, but I don't know. I always just get a lot of game overs in games like this. I don't even... I guess they are pretty hard, but I guess I'm just also pretty bad, so... Uh, I guess it's a combination. Alright, we just gotta jump up this again. I feel like there's something on the other side. Uh, I guess actually now there couldn't be because like that's kind of right where I was but maybe there will be something. Okay there's nothing over there. I just figured I'd check. Uh, we got a clap trap up there. That's fine. Clap traps I can deal with. Um, okay what's down here? Like I never know which is the way to go and which is the way to like cool stuff. Um, like I see that there's something up there. And like, is this like a? Is that is that a thing up there? Okay, what? Okay, I'm gonna assume that down there is death, even though I like came from above it. And I'm gonna assume this is the right way to go. And I'm gonna assume that something over there is good, assuming I can get to it, which apparently I can't. Can I like get to there? Like, there's there's something up there, right? I'm not like s seeing stuff. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Cool! Alright, uh, that's fine. I've got another DK barrel. Uh, let's just continue onward. Maybe I can get there from somewhere else. Um, uh, let's just come across like this. Um, do that, do that. Okay, why am I trying to like hop between them? That's clearly not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, what's that barrel? I just, uh... Alright. Oh, I see what I have to do. Alright. Um... Like, I don't know, is this the way to go? Like, I always get confused in, like, levels like this. Like, I think down there is where I wa- Like, I think this is where I tried to get to. Cool. That's fine. I've got something right there. It's, I like when I get hit and there's, like, a thing to help me, like, right there. And Okay, what? Okay, I clearly- uh, Did I need- Okay, like, right there is where I was. Probably need to use, like, the Kong- double toss or something or did I like I can't get up there I don't even think I could get up there with it uh, you know what let's just go down and um okay apparently fall all the way to the bottom and die that's cool like I never know where to go in these mazes when I'm trying to find stuff alright well I got back here like this so let's just see what happens if I do something like that nothing alright like there's something up there, like maybe you get to that part of the level later, or maybe there's like a barrel that I'm not seeing, but like, I don't really know what to do, uh, is there anything over here, maybe, cool, that's fine, I can just do that, anyway, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just continue the level with the lower path, not really sure if that's gonna do anything better, <sighs> I love when I get hit by enemies that are off screen, so that there's like a 0% chance that I would have known that they were even there. Um, okay. We 
Where do I go? That's like the beginning of the level. Like, I tried both paths, and both of them led to a dead end, so I have no idea. Alright, so we're back over here. This time, we're going to take the lower path. Okay, we can grab the K like that, and come back over here. So we got this guy. Take him down. Now we got this. And, okay, that just leads to... I like how I keep landing on that guy. Like, I don't even think that there is a lower path. I think it's just you keep climbing up and where you go from there, I have no idea. Okay, so this is, like, the only way that I can go. And, like, I don't see anything. Um, alright, is there anything down here? Okay, I'm just gonna... It's so hard to, like, jump down. I'm probably just gonna climb back up and then uh, Dixie Kong the way down. Alright, can I... It's so, like, weird jumping off this. Alright. Oh, cool. Apparently you can't do that. How do we go down? It's so, like, weird going down because, first of all, there were, like, bees here and... Alright, there we go. Alright, move the bee out of the way. Okay. Where... I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like, I think I'm supposed to go up, but there's, like, nothing that lets me go up, so. Alright, there we go. So I guess the way you have to go is you have to, like, go. You actually do have to go down, but, like, I couldn't tell. Because, like, this entire thing just kind of looks the same. And it's, like, it's hard to tell where you've been and where you're trying to get to. Especially, like, when you go up. Because, like, it all looks the same. Alright, also, I guess there's nothing down there. But it's, like, when I went up in, like, the cannon and stuff, it's hard to, like, tell how far you've actually gone up. And so, like, I thought that I had just gone up to, like, the next level. But I guess I'd gone up two levels. Up, I went up two levels and then I had to go down a level. Alright, cool. And, I don't know. Alright, there, there's clearly something up there. Okay, apparently there was just kind of one of those. Oh, cool. Alright, I'm going to assume that this... This is probably just the right way to go, honestly. Um, okay, this is... Interesting. Anything in here? Oh, there was a... Oh, alright, cool. So I guess I found the first bonus area, at least, or... Maybe it's not the first... Alright, so this is just to find the tokens. Let me just climb up as fast as you can. Well, that was pretty easy. It's just literally, like, honestly, the climb to get there was a lot harder than the bonus area itself, which I guess I shouldn't really be complaining now, should I? What? Cool, I guess I get to do this section again. I mean, I guess at least I now have both Kongs, but at the same time, I... Ugh. Going down is so weird, because, like... The thing is that you, like, attach to the to the honey automatically. Cool, I'm dead. Like, you attach the honey automatically, so you have to, like, really hold out before you touch the wall again. Like, I think the way that they did in the Returns games is a lot better with, like, the vines, where, like, you basically have to press the button to hold on, and when you let go, he releases it. I just think that that would be a lot easier to know where you're supposed to land, because in that case, you could just let go of the button, fall a little bit, and grab on again as opposed to doing these like awkward jump downs but eh, whatever all right we're back here we're not going to kill ourselves this time uh we got this guy i didn't have enough room to get around him that's really cool like he was on the end and like i would have to have jumped really high to get over him that's really unfortunate Uh, I found a much easier way to do that. Just kind of jump down. And if you have two Kongs, you can just damage boost your way through. It's a lot easier than trying to actually climb down a side. And, like, I mean, if you only have one Kong, then, I mean, good luck getting through it the intended way. Because you're probably not going to be able to. Because, like, you're going to get hit by one of the bees. So, either way, you're going to get hit. But one... Okay, we got around that guy. Alright, good. Um, alright, what is this O attached to? Really? 
Alright, we got off from that. Alright, we're going. Wow, that O is really mean. Like, like it's like you think that you can... Like, I thought that, like, an invisible hook or something would, you know, come out and save me, but, like... That's the bottomless pit! Cool! And I game overed. Love game overing in this game when just got to the halfway point point, I blew like 20 lives. Alright, nice. Sorry, right, made it back to the halfway point. This time I am not at zero lives, so I can actually live a little bit of time before I inevitably die. Alright, let's get around this guy. Ugh, those guys are so annoying. Um, 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 okay, alright, the DK coin. Please don't be death. Alright, it wasn't death. Uh, wait, what is through here? Is that just getting around that? Wait, 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 wait. let's keep going, because... Okay, I can't get through that. I mean, if I had Dixie, I could. I could damage boost my way through, but... Let's just go through here and see what happens. Okay, I'm assuming that... Okay, so this is how you get Rambi, because, I mean, the level is called Rambi's... Rampage or Rambi, I think Rambi Rumble. Okay, and the idea is Rambi can't climb up there. Okay, that's actually cool. So, Alright, so Rambi can take on the bees, so that's cool. Take them all on. Uh, let's have some fun. No. Okay, Rambi cannot take a barrel to the face. Rambi also apparently can die from bottomless pits, which makes sense, but. Uh, Alright, we're back here. Um, anything up there? Alright, uh, just the end. Oh, we got that guy. Um, anything down there? It's like a... It probably isn't, but I figured I'd better check. I have no idea why. Yeah, I didn't think there would be anything there. Alright. Just gotta do some platforming. That's fine. Um, I know that some... Alright, let's keep going. Oh, we got red bees. Okay, we can rampy. Touch red bees. Oh, he can touch them. He just can't kill them. Cool! I knew that that was coming. I didn't know which side it was coming from. I didn't know at what point it was happening. Apparently it happens there and it comes from the left. So, cool! Alright, and now go. Alright, so basically the um, um, gimmick behind this level is basically... That was extremely bad. I thought that, that was a beat that I could run into. I charged up with Rambi to get a nice head start. And I hit the red bee and I just went flying back. But anyway, basically the... Uh, gimmick of this level is that that bee is going to chase you and you have to run away from it as Rambi and try not to die like I did. Alright, uh, this time we know to jump over this one. Alright, let's do this. Alright, uh, let's see what else we got. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. So the bee is pretty slow, so as long as you keep moving, you should be fine. I say that now. Alright, come on, stop hitting that red bee. So the red bees do get in your way. But for the most part, they're not. Is that the end? Um, isn't this like a thing? Is that it? I can just go back here, can't I? Cause I thought I saw some stuff. Is that bee gonna come? I think that bee is gone. All right. Because I know I missed a bonus area. And it looked like there was some like stuff up here that I thought I was going to check. Alright. Well, I guess that's... I'm pretty sure there's a hole right here there that I could have gone through with Rambi or something. Maybe I should check that. <sighs> I just passed the bee. Lol. Is the bee going to come back? Alright, anyway, I, knew, I that was pretty obvious that there was something there. I mean, for one thing, they're not just going to put a whole Rambi section and not have anything there. Well, I think this is a def destroy them all. That's fine. I mean, when you're big, strong Rambi, you can just take on anything. I, I guess the idea is you kind of have to go fast. I should probably be going faster than I was. Alright, there we go. We finished it. I just wanted to check because doing the initial part of the level before the Rambi part kind of took me a long time to do. And, like... Yeah, I didn't really want to redo it, so I just decided to check right there. I mean, that part with the bee chasing you is much easier than the beginning with the honey that only works when it feels like it. But, uh, yeah. 
that was that level. Did I actually get it? Oh, sweet, I got everything in that too, so I don't have to go back there. Anyways, next up, as I said, is the boss, King Zing Sting, which is actually the bee that we were just chasing away. But before I do that, let me go save, because I don't have many lives. Alright, we're back. I just saved the game. Anyway, let's take on the boss of World 4, King Zing Sting, which, as I said, is basically just the bee. This time we get to fight him as Squawk, which is kind of interesting. I guess you just kind of... I guess Rambu is kind of ineffective against it, so I guess we're sending out a bird, because... If a rhinoceros can't kill it, maybe a parrot can. So basically the idea with this is you just kind of have to shoot eggs at him and then run away. And he moves kind of fast, so... He doesn't really directly home in on you, he just kind of goes in your general direction. So... Like, he has a... Like, his path is kind of weird. Like, it looks like... Okay, cool, he killed me. But, like, he doesn't home in on you. He sort of goes top to down and then down to top but like kind of goes towards you it's kind of hard to explain alright so like he's gonna start like he's gonna come down here like he I guess he goes to like what level you're at but he doesn't go up or down unless he's at the end which is kind of interesting um so I guess the idea is like if I'm down here he's gonna okay actually you know I have no idea what he's doing he's just kind of going crazy okay maybe he's just doing what he thinks is the best way to stay alive against a parrot. Anyway, since your squawks just kind of shoot your eggs at him. I think those are supposed to be eggs. Apparently they didn't hit him that time. Um, do I have to hit him in any specific spot? Like, the first time he was flashing, but all the other times he kind of hasn't. I think I might have to hit his, like, stinger. Like, I might have to hit him from behind. Um, which isn't going to be easy when you're fighting something a lot faster than you. Uh, maybe I just have to hit the bottom of him. I don't know. It's been so long since I fought this guy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, he turns so fast. Like, look how fast he moves. Okay, the, I think you said I have to aim for the bottom of him. Because that time I aimed for the bottom and I hit him. Okay, now he's going crazy. He's shooting his little needles everywhere. I, I didn't really know... Cool! Like, once again, the screen is so small, it's hard to even tell where he is most of the time. Like, he takes off, like, a quarter of the screen whenever he's there, and it's like... <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. So I just kind of have to aim for the bottom of him, which is kind of weird, but okay. Yeah, cool, that's right. Just keep going downward. That's that's really helpful. Cool. Like you, It's like you don't get in, like, enough... Okay, there we go. I got him once. Like, you have to aim, like really low apparently kind of interesting that they made that like the weak point I think that they'd like make the like it would be interesting if you had to hit him from behind if he moved a lot slower or if there's a way to slow him down but <sighs> cool I think I found an OG strategy if you're down here he can't hit you okay now he's suddenly going towards me okay maybe like normally he can't hit me wait I actually want to test that he actually hit me when I'm down here. Okay, he can. He didn't he, like I don't. Maybe he can't do that till later. But like before, I was just standing there and he just didn't really do anything. So I uh, never mind. Strategy doesn't work. But right, new strategy: go to the bottom, hit him, then go to the top, let him go around for a little bit, then go. Okay, have him go like directly into you, then go back to the bottom, wait for him to come realize that he isn't coming then get him again go back around um, let him shoot us cool I'm really good at fighting bosses apparently especially when I'm playing as a parrot who like you don't really have full control over okay here's the thing if he's way off screen like he can go to the very bottom unless he's on the layer right above the very bottom. So you can wait down here, wait for him to go to the layer right above the very bottom, then hit him, and if you just keep looping around, you can continually hit him without getting hit, and doing it in practice is a little bit harder than I've been saying, so I don't know.
Alright, so I have a final strategy that is working, assuming I don't get killed. So basically what you want to do, you want to go to the bottom. Now he can't get to you unless he's on this section right above the very bottom. So you just come here, hit him. Now he might now you might miss him and that's fine. Just go back to the bottom. Make sure he's at least one thing above the bottom and just wait for him to come back. And eventually he'll come back. He can't get to me right now. Hit him. There we go. Um, now he's gonna go berserk, which is fine. Just kinda get around him, quickly come down, back to the bottom. He can't hit me just yet. He can't hit me before he goes. So now he's gonna come right there. Get him again. That's fine. I missed. Let's just come back down here. I don't okay. And just repeat the process. And there, there's the strategy on how to beat him. And I guess you could just kind of go fly around and maybe that would work eventually. Alright, there we go. We got him again. He's gonna shoot his, um, barbs back. We're gonna shoot his stingers. Alright, that's fine. He hit me. That's fine. I've still got an extra hit. Back at the bottom. Can't get me. There we go. We got him five times. Now, phase two starts. Phase two didn't start. How many hits does this guy take? Like, these bosses in this game, like, take so many hits. Especially compared to, like, other games at the time when it was just kind of five hits every time. Okay, there we go. Phase two started. So now, Big B is going to explode into a bunch of little bees who we're going to take out one by one. Uh, there we go. I keep missing. You can't hit the red bee. Hit the yellow ones. Okay, they're respawning. That's cool. Um, okay. Are, are they respawning? Okay. All right. Um, oh, they are respawning. Oh, I have to kill them fast. All right, there we go. No, no, they respawn. Oh, can you st I've killed, like, so many of them. They keep coming back. All right. There we go. Now just hit him. Uh, move around. Don't want to die now. We've done a lot. Uh, Alright, there we go. It's fine. He's, he's tiny now. He's tiny. Alright, there we go. Do we beat him? I, I, I'm, not, I'm too afraid to go near him. I'm afraid he's just going to do like one last attack and just kill me. Alright, we beat it. Sweet. There we go. There's your strategy. It's kind of foolproof. Not really. Also, um, I think I ended that with zero lives, which is pretty cool. Anyway... That was the boss of World 4, Crazy Kremland. Next up is World 5, Gloomy Gulch, but I did not complete Crazy Kremland. I've failed to complete pretty much all of the initial levels, so uh, just like last time, I'm going to be going through all the levels, getting what I didn't get. Hornet, so let's see what we need. Hornet Hull, don't have all the bonus areas. Uh, Target Terror, don't have the DK coin. Ramble Scramble, don't have the DK coin. And I believe I have everything in all of the other levels except for that one which I'm not going to until later alright yes so yeah meet you at the possibly only bonus area that I'm missing in the first level there might be multiple but I'll just start with one Okay, so apparently the there were two bonus areas up here uh, where the first one was, and apparently I did the first one, but I didn't do the second one, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, that was the other bonus area in Hornet Hole. That was extremely fast. Okay! I just kind of randomly jumped there, and I got the DK coin of that level. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess to put into reference where that place actually is, it's, uh, after the halfway point. It's after the end. It's like the... I'll probably show the level from the end onward, just so you guys can see, because if I just show me grabbing the DK coin, it might be a little bit difficult. But, like, the end is in plain sight, so... Yeah, I'll just show from the end onwards. Anyways, all that's left is the DK coin and Bramble Scramble. Alright, so I guess... Alright, here we go. Finally making progress. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to... Do I just have to damage boost this? Okay, I guess I could have just done a um, cartwheel and then got underneath... Wait, which button is it? Oh, it's this one. Lol. Alright, so uh, anyway, we're finally getting the DK coin here. So, uh... 
this level is really starting to annoy me because uh, so like I said I always do the level at least once before I look it up because just to you know show that I took the time to actually do it so I did the level and it took a while because this level is pretty hard I didn't even get the DK coin did I miss it okay so I guess you have to go in right where this banana is Right there? Yep, there we go. Alright. Anyways, there we go. Finally getting the DK coin. And is there anything else in here? Guess I may as well check before I leave this level to never come back. Alright, cool. I died. Whatever. You know what? I'm done. And that's good enough for me. But anyways, so in addition to having to do that level, I redid it. But then at the end, I saw something that I thought might be it, but I hit the ending. So I redid the entire level again, which also took a long time, and like overall that took me like an hour to replay that level twice, plus go to the half again and then get that coin. But anyway, World 4 is finally done, and I have like no lives, even though I grinded for lives before I started this, because I lost like 50 lives on this level redoing it. But whatever, I'll probably, redo I'll probably grind for lives in between now and next episode and whatever anyway let's save our game and we are done with world uh... four which is pretty nice so i guess i'll just I guess i'll set a restore point here at funky's flight so i can uh... grind for lives i'm not going to do that now obviously but i will go and show you what's to come a real quick preview and I guess I'm not like it's really weird like if you press a immediately until like you've walked all the way it just exits for some reason which is kind of strange but I don't really know anyways as you can see we're completely done with crazy Kremlin which is pretty nice and next time we're gonna be starting off gloomy Gulch, starting off with the first level ghostly grove so world 5 it's pretty nice it's kind of a haunted forest level which is pretty cool it's got some really nice music got some nice visuals anyways yeah we'll be starting that next time and i thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time goodbye and take care